partly it's, uh, I mean, I had some interest even as a child, uh, just from knowing about my father's work. My father was a medieval Hebrew scholar, and I, when I was 10 years old or so, I probably read his thesis, you know, and was, was in historical Semitic, so I was kind of interested in that. But when I got to college, I was bored out of my mind. After the first year, I was ready to drop out because it was a pain in the neck. And I happened through political contacts to meet uh, uh, someone who I thought was about 90 years old. He was about 40, but I was 16. <laughs> 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 and uh, a very interesting person. Very, uh, he happened to be the, uh, the most important theoretical linguist in the country. And he suggested to me that I should start taking his graduate courses. I think he was, in retrospect, I think he was trying to indirectly convince me not to drop out of college. But I started taking his graduate courses, and I got interested in them. And uh, for a long time, I thought, you know, that's got to be the right answer. So I worked on trying to improve the methods that he, he was developing. They were pretty. Old. These were the most sophisticated version of the approaches of structural linguistics for being an American. And uh, I gradually came to see that they just didn't work. And, uh, But the reason for interest in it is, it's again kind of a truism. I mean, that's the crucial property that distinguishes humans from other animals. Uh, practically every aspect of uh, human cognition depends on it. I mean, that's why uh, uh, humans are uh, creative. Uh, why humans uh, 50,000 years ago were creating new, new kinds of tools, uh, doing symbolic art, uh, you know, recording natural events. Uh, they had language and other organisms didn't. Uh, the, there are plenty of uh, hominids, human-like creatures around, they're all gone. Uh, none of them had this capacity. Somehow it developed in one apparently very small group, and that's us, that's spread around the world. We're all basically identical. There's no known differences in cognitive capacities, language and others. And uh, it, it, it's, it's you know, it's, it's a unique biological phenomenon, uh, and it's also one that may well destroy the world. <laughs> but, uh, it, uh, but you can't, I don't see how you can help being interested in it. Um, okay, uh, this will be the last question.